It is that time again. We're going dumpster diving. We're starting about two hours past the time I normally would. On nights that my husband works, because he always works 12 hour shifts, but this week he's daylight, so he works 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. and he doesn't get home until like 8.30. So on nights that he would be daylight, I would leave at six and my mother-in-law would just watch the girls for us until my husband got home. So, um, you know, it's a little bit of an adjustment trying to figure everything out, but we're doing it. We're, we're figuring it out as we go. So, you know, it's, it's not easy, but we're, we're doing all right. My aunt actually found us a babysitter that lives in our housing development, which is amazing. Thank you so much, Shell. She's a super sweet girl. She's, I think, 17, and she's like, babysitting would just be perfect, and you're super close. Like, she could walk to my house, literally. It's so great, and she seems like such a nice girl. I think my kids are gonna love her. I'm a really good judge of character, at least I think so. <laughs> I don't know. I just get, like, good vibes from certain people, and, like, she was one of those people. So I feel really good about having her watch the kids. And I mean, my kids aren't little anymore. They're nine. So they practically take care of themselves. But, you know, I just need somebody to like heat up dinner for them and make sure like whenever school's in that they're doing their homework if I'm not there. Because those are all things that my mother-in-law did. So, you know, like I said, it's an adjustment. But we're definitely figuring it out. Also, my brother-in-law helps us and so does my aunt. So thankfully, I have family that is absolutely amazing. When my brother-in-law comes over to watch the girls, I think it gets his mind off of things. So it's good for the girls. It's good for everybody because, you know, whenever stuff like this happens, it's just good to have family. So yes, we are going diving. I'm super stoked. I don't know if we're gonna have as good a luck because I'm getting to a lot of the dumpsters late, but normally this isn't too bad of a night. So fingers crossed. <laughs> I know a lot of you are asking about Beth. She is doing very good. She of course is still struggling with sleep per the use, but she said, when are you going diving next? I'll come with you. So we are trying to plan it. I'm not sure if we're going to do it the day we were thinking of or not yet. I have to check with my husband's schedule, but she said she wanted to come. So I am hoping that it works out because I love having her with me when we go diving. It just makes it so much more fun. It's like when younger girls like in their 20s go to the bar with each other and like have drinks and dance and have fun and let loose and like it's like the best night ever for them. That's what dumpster diving is for us 40 year olds. <laughs> That's what I equate dumpster diving to, going out and drinking, I don't know. That sounded so weird. Anyway, let's go get to these dumpsters and do the dang thing. Look how pretty the sky looks. You see all that pink? How cool. Anywho, we're at Home Goods. There, I think there might be like pillowcases or something in here. They of course want ham breaking everything. Oh, you guys are foggy. That's better. You are super foggy. So there's like some kind of fabric in there. Oh yeah. It is a tablecloth maybe? Pretty sure it's a tablecloth. I don't know. Shower curtain right there. So that's super. This is a really cute shower curtain too. So, oh my God, I thought that was a bug. <laughs> oh, oh, oh my God, that scared the bejesus out of me. I almost had a heart attack. Oh child. So we are at Ollie's and I'm hoping that there's goodies in here. Oh my gosh, I really hope that hoverboard is in that box. Oh snap, snap, crackle, pop. Oh, and there's a, uh, uh, blah, blah, blah. I can't even talk. <laughs> a shaver over there. Shaver, razor, whatever you call it. We got this jet, which is actually like a, um, what are them things called? Um, I don't know what you call them. One of them things <laughs> that spins, you know what I'm saying. We got one of these garage and ceiling lights. 
Oh my gosh. They didn't even cut the cord on this. We got a waffle maker. Oh my goodness, guys. Normally they cut the cords on everything like so. This plane, I don't know where the uh, remote control is for that. So that might be a dud. Because we kind of need to have that. Oh, these are um, for in your like spice racks. Those are awesome. Some more of these. All right, well, that's all she wrote. The Dollar General. Let's see if there's anything in here. Oh, is that silver there? What the heck? What the heck? Is that their silverware? Oh God, that's a big spider web. Oh, there's two packs of silverware in there. Okay, let's get it. Not on that side where the spider webs are. Ooh, we got tongs. Okay, we got some coconut coast spray. Oh my gosh, little baby booties. Awesome. It's plastic silverware, but it's colored. $16. Dollar General. Get the heck out of here. <laughs> That's a little ridiculous. Say you don't wanna be with me, but you miss me as soon as it's over. Purple shampoo, three Gatorades, and we have a whole bunch of Russell Stover's sugar-free chocolate. All right, let's load her up. It's been a few hours since the last dumpster, but we are at a Dollar General, and check it out. I love that they leave stuff just right here for us. It's so nice. Look at all these cupcakes. Oh my gosh, zingers. There's nothing wrong with it. Look at all these socks, guys. These are some of my favorites. They're a little melted, not too bad though. And we got some take fives, all right. More socks, hex yeah. All right, guys, we are at a Dollar General. We got two more left and then we're done. So let's see if there's any goodies. Every time I come up to a dumpster, I'm always scared there's gonna be a skunk in it now. <laughs> Shut the front door. This is in flipping sane. So many shower curtains, guys. I mean, some of these are gonna need washed off, but not a big deal. Dancing and put the stuff in the bag, Shannon. Some of these are broken. They're all broken. All 
Alright guys, the last DG of the night. Let's see if there's any goodies. Oh, I think I see some stuff. Oh yeah, we got stuff underneath all these bags. Oh yeah, they're trying to hide it. Can I reach these without falling in head first? <laughs> oh my God, these bugs are killing me today. All right, looks like I gotta jump on in. Let's hope I don't step in anything I just want to get home and take a hot shower because <laughs> I have been attacked by so many bugs today and I'm kind of over it. It is a few days later and we need to take a ton of this stuff to Miss Tara. You guys are going to come with me. We're going to drop all this off. I usually don't wear dresses when I'm loading dumpster stuff and donations in my car, <laughs> but I have some other running around to do. Let's load up this ride real quick and head on out to Tara's. Also, I should tell you, I'm gonna take everything to Tara's because she is gonna take a run to the food bank for me. So it saves me a trip. So that is why we're not doing the food bank and Tara's. We're just gonna take it all there and she's gonna help me with that this time, which is amazing. Thank you, Tara. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. Now that I am dripping sweat, let's head to Tara's. Everything has been delivered. We have everything I opened in the live, plus everything I have found in the dumpsters. Tara gets to take it all in. <laughs> Holy cow. Do y'all see all this toilet paper? <laughs> I cannot believe how much toilet paper was in that Dollar General dumpster. <laughs> I truly can't. There was only one package I had to throw back in because there was a giant rip in it. I don't know what that was all over all the packaging. I think it was rust and like from the water in the dumpster, but I wiped it all off all the packages except for one that had a slice in it. So the like the rust and the water got into the TP. You get it. I had to throw that in the garbage. But all of these ones are perfectly fine. So with that being said, let us dive on in to everything I found at the dumpster. The very first place that I stopped at and had luck was Home Goods. They love to go ham and destroy everything. But thankfully, they couldn't destroy the shower curtain. Next, I headed on over to the Ollie's dumpster. And sadly, you're not seeing the hoverboard here because it doesn't work. I'm so sad. I'm gonna have to order a charger for that and see if that is what the issue is because I couldn't find the charger in the dumpster, sadly. But 
you know, that happens sometimes. We have the rechargeable rotary shaver. I also found this waffle maker. I plug this bad boy in and it turns on and heats up. So that is an awesome find. Garage and ceiling light. I have not tried this yet, but I will try it before I donate it, of course. And lastly, we got these spice rack shelves. They both double up, as you can see. And this one actually matches my kitchen. So I'm going to keep this one and I'll donate Lastly, that one. Lastly, we headed to a few Dollar Generals. But of course, y'all know the DGs are my favorite dumpsters. I'm just saying. They always provide. I found this super cute yellow comforter. Nothing wrong with it. Also got some men's extra large t-shirt. All of these hostess cakes. Two packages of women's crew cut socks. Men's half cushion low cut socks. We got all of this Russell Stover sugar free chocolate. A pair of tongs. Two pregnancy tests. A dog toy. Three almond joys. Reese's take fives. One lone package of Kool-Aid, one gift bag, Nut Coast spray, root to end blonde shampoo, and this bottle is completely full, one super cute cup, the lid is broken, but have no fear, because I found another lid in the same dumpster, this little wire blessed sign, I don't know what it was supposed to be in, but you could totally use this for something, also got this blessed sign, super cute little box, two cans of coconut water, three bottles of Gatorade, a greenery arrangement that is perfectly fine. There is nothing wrong with it. No idea why that was in the trash. We also got a whole case of popsicles or freezer pops as we call them. I never called these pop ice. I've always called them freezer pops. I don't, is that a Pittsburgh thing or do you guys call them freezer pops too where you're from? I don't know. Let me know down below. Pair of very cute little baby booty socks. We also got a two pack of flashlights, two size D batteries, four brushes, tool caddies. I call them under the sink caddies to like hold your cleaning products, stuff like that. Two bottles of Lysol sanitizing. What is <laughs> I can't spit this out. Two bottles of laundry sanitizer. <laughs> that was like the fifth time I tried to say it. Lord. Five. No, I can count. I swear. Four shower curtains. They are the heavy duty Piva liners. Is that how you say that? Piva? Peva? Shower curtain liners. That's what we're going to call them. <laughs> I thought these were plastic. I was like, Dollar General, how are you going to charge $16 for some plastic silverware? <laughs> but they're not plastic. They're metal. And sadly, we got really gypped here. Somebody stole all the rest of the silverware. <laughs> we only got two of each. So that's, that's some bull crap. I got gypped on that one, man. But that's all right. They're still super cool, and I'll keep them. I would donate them if they were a full set, but I don't want to donate just two pieces of each. You know what I mean? That's kind of chintzy. <laughs> we also got a full bottle of Tide, which oh so tickles me. Let me tell you, because laundry detergent is so flippin' expensive. And when you find as much as I do in the dumpster, it literally hurts my soul <laughs> to have to go buy laundry soap from the store. It truly, truly does. Last but not least, we found all this TP, guys. Like, this is so much toilet paper. And just like everything else nowadays, toilet paper is so expensive. But... I don't need to buy any for quite some time. <laughs> I'm actually only going to keep a few and I will donate the rest. This has to be one of the best dives I've had in quite some time. I'm, I'm just saying. I mean, the toilet paper in itself, flipping awesome. I, th that's all I can say. Flippin' awesome. The shower curtains, all these scrubbies, the comforter, I mean... Guys, oh wait, did I show you the sponges? We got sponges. It's awesome. This was such an amazing dive.
that my friends is everything so thank you guys so very much for hanging out with me at the dumpsters and today in the reveal i of course why am i holding this i of course will talk to you all in those comments down below and until next time happy diving